New tonight, thousands of students, teachers and parents gathering to remember a pillar in the community. She was very amazing. She did a lot for this school. A longtime principal in Levine killed in a crash last week, and now her community mourning this tremendous loss. ABC 15 Zach Crenshaw is live outside MC Cash Elementary and second evening of tears and tributes there. Yeah, Steve, this is the memorial for Lisa Sandemir behind me. She spent 16 years leading this school, investing her time, her energy, her passion into all of these students and staff. And as we heard all night long, and as you can clearly see here behind me, she left and made such an impact. MC Cash is characterized by smiles, but this week, it's been filled with tears. Everybody just started crying. It's hard to even turn in the corner in the office knowing you go to see her office and she's not there. I've had a hard time. My kiddos were crying. Principal Lisa Sandemir was the heart and soul of this Levine school. She was killed October 26th when a service truck smashed into multiple cars near 75th Avenue and Broadway. It's uh, been a very down week. Um, it just, it's hard to believe. Sixth grade math teacher Jeremy Westcott worked with Sandemir for a dozen years. I've had plenty of opportunities to leave, but I just love working for her and kept coming back. Monica Lomelli also came back after being one of her students. And now I'm here again, being a teacher, following Ms. Sandemir's footsteps. During her time as a teacher, then 16 years as a principal, Ms. Sandemir impacted so many lives. She was very caring. No matter who you were, Lisa saw your potential for success and she would make it happen. She was an amazing person. She was there when you needed her. This neighborhood's known to have gang affiliation. She created this um, school environment as a safe haven for kids. How do you condense decades of shaping young lives into a single story? You don't. Miss Sandemir lives on in her teachers, the halls of MC Cash, and in the thousands of kids who are better today because she was their principal. Irreplaceable. Irreplaceable. Irreplaceable indeed. Now, police say the truck driver who caused the crash was not drunk or high, but he has not been arrested. Detectives say citations are pending, though, and the investigation is ongoing. Live tonight in Levine's at Crenshaw, ABC 15, Arizona.